Marietta National Cemetery was originally known as Marietta and Atlanta National Cemetery. The cemetery was established in 1866 to serve as a resting place for the nearly 10,000 Union soldiers. The cemetery was built on land donated to the federal government by Henry Green Cole. Cole donated the 23.3 acres of land for burying both Union and Confederate soldiers to General George H. Thomas for use of a national cemetery. A granite memorial arch at the cemetery gate is inscribed. Here rest the remains of 10,312 officers and soldiers who died in the defense of the Union, 1861 to 1865. Marietta National Cemetery was laid out by Union Army Captain Thomas B. Van Horn. Marietta National Cemetery was placed on the National Register of Historic Places on September 18, 1998. Daniel Webster Cole, the son of Henry Cole, drew the first map of the cemetery, which was later the basis for official layout. The original sections of the cemetery were arranged in circles around a flagstaff with paths through the circles leading to the remains of soldiers who had been buried where they fell. Fresh cut flowers may be placed on a grave at any time but are recommended during the spring and summer months. Artificial flowers will be permitted on grave during the period of October 1st through April 1st. Artificial flowers and potted flowers will be permitted 10 days before and after Easter, Memorial Day, and Veterans Day. During the Christmas holiday season, Christmas wreaths, grape floral blankets, and other such floral arrangements will be permitted in December until January 20th of each year. Among the many monuments in the cemetery is the Wisconsin Monument dedicated on May 31st, 1925 and is a memorial to the 405 men from Wisconsin who are buried in the cemetery. As an American, it is an honor to know that throughout history's many wars, our fallen soldiers are never forgotten.